In this video, I'm going to go over the scale command. So the scale is here in the modify panel, and the alias is SC. So when I pick scale, I'm going to pick my object. Now it asks me for a base point. So kind of, this is where it's going to, this is the part that's going to stay still while everything else moves around it. So if I pick this as my base point, you can see that stayed still, and everything else is kind of getting bigger or smaller to the, to the right of it, because it was on the far left of the part. If I did it and I picked on the far right of the part, now everything gets bigger and smaller, changing on the left side. If I did it outside the part, it actually move away from that point. So this is where you have to be careful. You really don't want to try and pick it outside of the part, um, especially if you're going to be scaling it by a, a large factor. So I'm going to go ahead and pick on the part. And so now it's asking me the scale factor. So that's basically a percentage um, just as a decimal. So a scale factor of one would be the same size. Anything less than one would get smaller. So if I did a scale factor of 0.5, that'd be half as big. Anything bigger than one gets bigger. So if I did a scale factor of three, that'd be three times as big. So I'm gonna do a scale factor of two. And so that's twice as big as the original was. Another way of using the scale command is by using the reference option. So I see it down here. So if I type R, I can get to the reference option. And what this does is let me pick a distance on the screen and then tell it exactly what I want that to be. So I can pick this point to this point and tell that, that I want that to be three inches. So now if I measure that, that is exactly three inches. And so that's really handy if you get a drawing from someone else or you download it from a vendor website and they've scaled it up to make it look good in model space um, but they've actually changed the size of the geometry so you can use the reference option to scale it back down to, to the right size it also works for images um, that you might want to put in and, and scale off of or, or work off of so that's the scale command